the best time to do something monumental, huge, is right now. Why do I say that? You may be saying, but no, this isn't going for me. I don't have the money right now. I'm busy right now because I have the kids at home. I've got this thing that's not working out. I've got that thing and it's, it's not gonna work out. I gotta wait till this is right and this is right and then this has to happen in order for me to do this big thing. And I say, why? You're gonna have to start sometime. Why not today? Why not even just take five minutes to dream about that thing? To, to make a list of 10 things you need to do towards that thing to make it a reality. There is a saying that says something like, the best time to plant a shade tree is 20 years ago, but the next best time is right now. So what is it that 20 years from now you're gonna be saying, I wish I would have done that thing 20 years ago. I wish I would have done it then. Well, guess what? Now is the next best time to do it. I remember as a kid, my dad always saying, he wished he would have gone back to school. He wished he would have gone back and got his degree or done this or done that, and he never did it. And then when I was in high school, he was already a senior citizen, getting the senior citizen discount. And then he thought it was way too late for him and he couldn't do all of these things he wanted to do. Well. I don't fault him for that. A lot of people feel like that in life. You know, sometimes there's ageism. It is a young man's game. And sometimes we feel like we don't have the stamina in, in us. And at the end of the day, after working all day and caring for the kids, yeah, you just want to relax and kick your feet up. But, but if you still got something burning inside you that you've been wanting to do, thinking about, then you may have to put some of the other excuses aside, or you may just have to be a little bit more tired. Yeah, you may have to get up a half hour or an hour earlier each day to study for your exams if you're going back to school. You may have to miss a couple family dinners a night to take that night class. Whatever it is, if it's something you feel passionate about, you need to start today. Even if the conditions aren't right, even if they're not ideal, because who says they're ever going to be ideal? Life continues to throw us curveballs. It never turns out the way we think it will. You know, when you're in high school dreaming about your perfect life, I bet none of you guys are living that perfect life you thought you'd be living after high school. I don't think any of us are. No one is living the fairy tale. That's why they're fairy tales. They're kind of false. You can make peace with wherever you're at right now and you can learn to enjoy the journey and everything that goes with it. But just because the ideal conditions are not present in your life right now, doesn't mean you should not be going after that thing you love. Somebody might be dying. You might be a caregiver for someone. It may be the end of a season of something. You may be going through a divorce. You may be mourning the loss of somebody dear to you. But is that a reason not to go after your dreams. Everybody dies, everybody's been through tragedies. And yes, of course, you're not hammering after, pounding after your passions when you're in the middle of you know, mourning over something. But what I'm saying is if you keep putting it off and keep putting it off, you're gonna be in the habit of putting things off. And if you're waiting for the ideal conditions, I'm telling you, there aren't any ideal conditions. There never will be. There's never gonna be the perfect time to do your vision, to meet your goals, to start that family, to have that life, to ask the girl, to whatever it is. So just do it now because the best time to do it has already passed. So why not now? That's my question for you. Why not now? You may as well get started. I'll see you when your vision is complete. Email me, text me, let me know you're doing it no matter how hard it is. Send me a message and saying, you know what? You said to do it anyway, I'm doing it anyway. Things aren't working out for me, but I'm taking a half hour a day towards my goals even though this tragedy is going on in my life. You know what? Do something for you. Do something that gives you passion because if you're living your life in a yucky place because of what's happening around you, the least you can do is give yourself that little gift of working towards something that makes you smile. All right.
Take care. Live true. Love hard. Shine bright.